Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I'm making another loaf of sourdough. I am addicted to making sourdough loaves and they just are so nice to have on hand. Like being able to make a little piece of toast in the morning, I am loving it. And it's funny because we actually never really buy bread unless we are specifically making like a charcuterie or sandwiches or things like that but typically we don't buy bread so it's kind of interesting because now we're like eating sourdough more often but anyway i just thought i would start the vlog because in the last vlog i really opened up to you guys and i just have to say the amount of love that I received in that vlog was just, I, I can't even put into words how much it meant to me. Like truly it was so encouraging and so uplifting and I just love you guys so much. And I don't know, I'm like getting chills in my legs right now, but I just, I'm so grateful for you guys. And I'm super excited to do more vlogs and just letting go and just whatever, whatever, we're just we're filming but that's what we're doing and we're doing the art drop and we're not gonna care it's okay <laughs> anyway so i just thought i need to start the vlog so that we have another one going for you guys we worked out this morning and came home and i thought okay i need to get this loaf going but what i'm gonna do on like some of my videos so today i'm gonna film a video basically on a guest bedroom because i am aching aching to share more home decor with you guys and truthfully i have felt very limited and i've talked a little bit about this in past videos but i felt extremely limited with our space and just very uninspired if i'm being totally transparent and it really has put it's made it's made it very unmotivating to film and unmotivating to do home decor because i just ache to do it but we're just not in a position at the moment to buy a house, but we're working on it and hopefully we are there. Hopefully we can buy a house this year. That is the plan. That's the goal. Also, yes, when we start looking at houses again, we will absolutely take you with us. I just, I can't wait. So anyway, so basically what I was trying to say is I'm gonna film like little sit down videos of different areas in a home and how you can take your home from a house to a home. So for me, I personally think one of the best ways to really comprehend this for me anyway is with a guest bedroom because to me, the number one thing that I like to think out before I or think about before I even get into the design process is how I want the space to feel. And I think the easiest way to do this is through like a guest bedroom and the reason why is because we can all think about a like boutique hotel or staying at like a friend or family's house and different things that we've noticed along the way and different things that either our friends and family have done or the boutique hotels or hotels have done that make us feel a certain way so i think starting with a guest bedroom is one of the best ways to do this because you can really capture that feeling and i think you can then kind of learn that feeling and take it into each room in your home anyway i'll talk more about it on that video but i just really wanted to start the vlog i won't walk you guys through the whole sourdough process again i just feel like revived i feel revived i still really feel limited and frustrated a lot of the days where i just I get frustrated that I want to share more and I like I just feel like our space like I just feel like there's not much more I can do yes there is but also with really working on and trying to move this year I kind of, I feel, I'm in this weird in between like I could do more but I don't want to because I just know we're gonna move soon we don't we have not broken ground on a new build we have not oh, there's no house yet <laughs> yet but i'm really just like putting it out there and really just working hard and really trying to get that house like that's my goal for this year and it's completely consuming me which i guess could be good and bad but anyway basically 
I keep going off on a tangent. I love you guys. I'm so grateful that you're here. And I so appreciate your kind words anytime. I feel like you guys know when I'm feeling down and you say the absolute best words to encourage me to keep going. So thank you. I have been wanting to paint an abstract piece for this frame for so long. And I just have put it off. This frame is kind of beat up. I think it's like broken somewhere or chipped off or yeah, down here, I think. Yep, right there. So I am going to order a wood canvas board for this frame and paint an abstract on it. Maybe I should just go to the craft store and get one, but I'm gonna see what size this is. It says eight by 10, but there's no way. Okay, 12 by 12 by 10. Is that a size? Hold on. I don't know if that's a size. 12 by 10, is that a size? Could be. Um, I'm like a, I'm used to like the eight by 10, five by seven, four by six, you know, 16 by 20, but the, what did I just say? 12 by, oh geez, I can't remember. Uh, okay, let me go in here and look at The wood canvas boards are a little bit more pricey, but I just kind of like them a lot. So I'm going to see, it was 12 by something, 12 by 12, 12 by 16, 16 by 20, nine by 12. Oh, I thought it was like a 12 by 10. Hold on, let me look at this again. Am I measuring this wrong? Maybe I'll go to the craft store, 12 by 10. Yeah, 12 by 10. Hmm. Okay, there's a 10 by 10, 10 by 14, or 11 by 14, excuse me. Well, we'll go to the craft store, go get one. Okay, well, never mind. I was gonna order it with you here on the video, but, or on the vlog, anyway. The thing is though, I feel like I need to rub and buff this frame. It's quite shiny, but then again, I might get the abstract in there and see how it looks first. But I have a lot of frames I've been collecting and I've actually been starting to look for more and I was thinking maybe I will do some abstracts in these because, and I will do different oil paintings as well, but I felt like that could be really cool just to break up all of the vintage. I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of vintage and I need to introduce some more contemporary items, maybe some abstract art. I've really been into some like more modern light fixtures as well, just a little bit. I do think it makes the home look a bit more interesting. So I feel a little growth coming on <laughs> with my design style. Okay, well, that was a bust anyway. What do you guys think? What do you think about the like vintagey gold frames with an abstract artwork in there? I think it could be really pretty. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. Good morning. <laughs> it's early. It's Ish. super, well, it's early for us, kinda. It's seven, we woke up at six. We're on our way to our workout class and we're gonna see if we can kind of vlog more of our daily life, like little snippets yeah. and uh, we don't think there is gonna be anyone else at this class other than us, because I asked our coach, and he said we were the only ones signed up. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna bring the vlog. Well, we were trying to work out on our own. It wasn't happening. <laughs> it wasn't happening, so. The sad part is we have a gym at our place too. It's not that big. It has everything you need, not that big. And then we were trying to go to like an actual like box gym too. Yeah. We just, we get in a, couple day or a week routine and then just stop yeah it's we are so like we do much better actually we it's like world's difference if we go to an actual class with a program and even the gym the box gym that we signed up for offers classes and it still it just wasn't the same yeah. so we kind of like a smaller this is so he does like semi-private and private training he 
we actually used to go to a gym like right by our house uh kind of a functional fitness gym mm -hmm. and he used to be a coach there but he like branched off and in his own and he's been doing it for like a year or two yeah that we finally signed up because it's expensive well it's more yeah. than the ten dollars a month at a gym <laughs> yeah but I feel like it's good so far. Yeah. It's only been a month and a half. Well, we just were like, you know what? We got to take our like health seriously. We need, like, if we pay a little bit more, we show up, we do the work. So, anyway. And you go, it's an hour. He has it programmed. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and like, you don't have to think about it. But what I really like is he does a four-week program. And he gives us a sheet, so we track each week, so you can look back. We would never do that on yeah. our own, even and at the. Make sure he's check, and like I said, it's semi-private, so it's not like a, a big class or anything. Yeah. So he checks in with you. He not forces you, but makes you do what you should be doing. Yes. Or increasing, or sometimes decreasing, depending on where you're at. Yeah. Yeah. He I don't like know. really watches. We're really enjoying it. Basically, all that to say. We're on the way to the gym. We signed up for a new gym just to catch you guys up. And uh, oh yeah, we've been loving too to have oh. a little honey stick on our way to the gym. <laughs> That's like a little, little pre-workout. Yeah, there. simple carbs. And I don't know. I kind of like. Yeah, I like them. They're good. He Zach gets them at Sprouts. I got some off Amazon, but Sprouts has a better deal. Yeah, and I'm sure you could buy them in bulk other places. Or I remember growing up in Oregon, the local farms would have yeah. them. But local. here I feel like it was hard to kind of find. I went to a couple stores, but yeah. Sprouts has them at the register. So We're going to see how we feel after workout. We'll see if we'll even film it. It might be weird in there. Yeah, you know? it might be weird. So if it's weird, we're probably not going to film. Oh, there is one other there person. There is one other person. Okay. So we'll see. Yes. If not skip over this part <laughs> and we'll do breakfast or something after. Yeah, yes, which we might go out to a little farm and maybe we can find some more honey sticks. But we're gonna see how we feel because today's cardio and Brandy does not like cardio. <laughs> but it does get you kind of going after you do it. But cardio is just not my favorite. Anyway, all right, see you in a minute. It's done. Hopefully, you'll probably fast forward what we just did. Like, yeah, it'll be. But hopefully, you got a couple things. Yeah, I think I got a couple pieces of footage. There was one other guy there, and then obviously the coach. Um, but he started on a different zone than us, but then he finished on the same zone, so we didn't get much of. Yeah, we had three, so we did. We did one, he did one, and then we swapped, and then we did the last one together. All together, yeah. Today was way more cardio endurance. Yeah. And then like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday is more, you know, strength. Strength, yeah. Different varieties. He mi mixes it up and does obviously groups together. And But Wednesday and Saturday morning are like his endurance days. And we usually take the weekends off. So I've gone to one Saturday class. I haven't even gone to one yet. <laughs> well, you know I've gone... I think the only reason you went is because you had to miss a day or two. Yeah. But I've been going like five days a week, so. Yeah, so I was trying to make up a class, but I'm exhausted. I was telling them in there, because we went at 7 today. We went at 7 today. Sometimes we go at 9 or 10. Yeah. But uh, his 7 o'clock class, I was telling them, I hate waking up at 7, but I love being done at 7. Yeah. Or 8, eight. but... Yeah. This morning when we woke up, I was super tired and I was like, I don't know if I can continue to do the 7 a.m.s. But then once you get in here, that's the other thing that we really like about the class that we go to is when we were working out on our own, we wouldn't warm up, we wouldn't cool down. It just- Or not even warm up, we would do like a two minute thing and be like, okay, we're good. Or we'd go do a rep range and be like, do two sets, be like, oh, we're good. Yeah. Or like a finisher, like doing the dips. Like here this week we're doing like 12. 
if we did it, I remember you wouldn't even do it, and I would do like six for yeah. one round and be like, oh, I'm good, let's go. Yes, I would pick the things that I like to do, and I would do those, and then Zach would do, like, I would do more legs because I find them a little more easy. Zach would do more arms because. But we, we would like half. Do it. Do it, or like leave early, or not warm up, or easily convince ourselves, like, oh, okay, that's oh I don't want to go, or, or if or it's yeah. busy, or if we get a wreck. Here, you show up at seven, and you're gone by. It's 7.59 right yeah. now. Or we would do like, we'd be like, okay, let's go do three rounds of this. And then two rounds, we're like, okay, that's good enough. Yeah. yeah but or, or we'd be like, let's do three sets of eight at the gym. And we would do two sets of six and be like, no, that felt good enough. <laughs> yeah. Here, he's watching you and all like, hey, you still have two more. Or, hey, we have yeah. one more round, you know. Or that looks light. Add some weight. It's like, oh, gosh. So you, like, you, I mean, you're paying for it. But you feel like you are getting a really good workout. But all that to say getting up early he warms you up so by the time you're doing the workout you actually don't feel tired anymore yeah anyway do you want to go i'm sweaty i am sweaty too do you want to go to steadfast farms should we yeah yeah okay we're gonna take you to steadfast farm we're steaming up the car i know <laughs> well, it's hot. we did a little bit of a cool down yeah but uh we're gonna go to this farm i guess they have tacos and uh coffee too We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, we haven't been there, so we're excited to take you there and see what it's about. We wanted to, Brainy mentioned this, well, I mentioned this a while ago, but she's been doing a lot more decor and fashion mm. and shop with me. If we do some vlogs, maybe do stuff around our town. I know most people don't live in Phoenix, Arizona, but just to see stuff around here, if that's a, yeah. a hike or a restaurant or maybe like a unique park they have, or it's something random, like, yeah, and maybe... Or even like this, going to Steadfast Farms. Like yeah. something kind of unique. And maybe to like inspire, I don't know if that's the right word, to or encourage you guys to like check out your town. I, we've talked about this before. Yeah, we have. But also, even if you live in a tiny town of like 500 people, like maybe there's a coffee shop there that you never go to or maybe you go every day. Who knows? But my point was like going to these places and maybe sharing a little bit. If that's interesting, yeah, it might be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. You guys let us know. Anyway. Alright, you ready? Yeah, let's go. That's 20 minutes away, so... Head south. We'll see you All there. Right, let's go. This one, no, this is lavender. I was thinking this tastes like coconut. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's coconut. Okay. Oh yeah, this is yeah. lavender. <laughs> My brain, brain was playing a trick. So good. It's good though. Mm -hmm. Once you decipher the flavors. I know. <laughs> we also got a brisket taco and a bacon taco, right? Yeah. So they have, and they have pastries in there. Maybe I can go back in and get a little more footage. Yeah. They have all kinds of cute stuff in there, fresh flowers. What do you think? It's cute. It's so cute. You ever think like, you go in there and like the lettuce or the spring mix is like double or like a couple more dollars than at the store. But then you think they're out here actually like hand I know. Them, like a machine from like another state or country. Yeah, no, it's true. Look at this. It's a lot smaller than I thought, but I love Way it. It's so quaint. And then this looks like some sort of diner. 
It says Nicole's Garage. Oh, Nicole's Garage. I don't know. Oh, I think it is a little restaurant. I saw it online. Oh, it says Nicole's Garden. Oh, Garden. That makes more <laughs> sense. <laughs> and then it just like opens up to this little... This is part of Eastmark, which is in like super East Mesa slash Gilbert. Like the, yeah. You know, so... Which is a wonderful location for yeah, like families. It's all newer houses. Yeah. They're building new high schools, all new. Everything's new out here. Yeah, we love it out here. So. But yeah, it's so cute. We've been wanting to go. Well, we've been wanting to check out a lot of things. And this was one of them. It's absolutely darling in there. I love this it. It's kind of cool. It look, I, I've seen it online. It looks like a, a semi diner. I think they have burgers and stuff. Online, it looks good. It looks, I think it looks good. Cool. Okay. That's a good burger. Oh, never mind. What is it? Tuesdays, burger and fries, two for 22. Which I guess $11 for a burger and fries nowadays is pretty good. Yeah. I remember back in the day, this was probably close to 12, 13 years ago. I feel like it was burger, fries, and a beer for like six bucks. You know? I, yeah. Like a crazy deal. Yeah. Even I remember like it went up to $10. So I was like, man, they're. They're going up, but still, now it's like, you go to somewhere, you get a burger, a fry, and a beer, it's $20, kind of easy, you know? Yes. Yeah, look how cute this little diner is, though. It's called Handles, did you say? Handlebar. Oh, Handlebar. Handlebar. Look at how cute. That's so darling. I guess, yeah, we can go in here. The Handlebar Diner, patio, and takeout. We'll have to come have a little Let's date. A like I said, I've seen this online. But I just have never mentioned it because it is like 20 minutes away from our house. Yeah. But I didn't realize it was right next to this farm. I know. I'm obsessed with the little farm. There's not much to it, but then also like sometimes that's what makes it better. But it's cool. It's like this little splash bag community, Superstition Mountains right there. Yeah. This little, obviously that looks like an amphitheater, like mini. Yeah. So it's like a cute little family area. All right. All right. Cute little morning, got our workout in, went and got coffee. I was thinking on the way back, because there's one right here on the way back to go to Costco, because we need a couple things. They still don't open up for an hour and a half. <laughs> well, never mind. Okay, hello, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> we just got home from workout. Oh, well, actually a while ago. A while ago. A while. Just up, we're about, we just uploaded a video. Yes, we just uploaded a home goods shop with me. And we've been vlogging all week, so we have like little clips here and there. Yeah, we'll try to be more... <laughs> well, it's actually working out really good because I feel like, you know, sometimes all in one day we might not be doing that many exciting yeah. things. So we're kind of sharing more, like more fun things with you guys. Or, well, I don't know if they're fun. <laughs> you tell us. That's so cute. Uh, we're about to go to the pool. Yeah, we're gonna... It's supposed to be 84 today, I think. Yeah. I think it's 80 right now. It's 1 o'clock. But I wanted to try something. I saw this online. I think I'm getting duped right now. But they're they're supposed so some guy shared this and then like what are those one guys that recreated the party um, shirt party shirt? shirt or something? They recreated it and said it kind of did. Or they say like let like we want to see if it's real or yeah. And they seem to be legit. But I feel like I'm about to get duped. They said eat a grape and a pretzel and it's supposed to taste like fried chicken. What? I know. What did they say first? They said you shouldn't have told me that. You should have like oh, let me guess. I should have. Because you know sometimes if you hear something, you can taste it. You know what I mean? Yeah. What did they? I think they said. I'm gonna look up what they said to do first. You either need to eat the grape first or the pretzel. But let me see. A pretzel then a grape. Okay, a pretzel. Okay, a pretzel and then a grape. Okay, we're doing this together. Yeah. They, they didn't say what type of grapes, but it showed green grapes, so I don't know if that makes a difference, I would assume, but... Honestly, I don't know if I'm in the mood for fried chicken right now. <laughs> pretzel and then grape? Pre pretzel and then grape. Okay. I don't think you wait until you totally swallow that. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> that is weird. It's like the batter. I think it's like the crumbs of the pretzel mm -hmm. and then like the sweetness. That is weird. 
That is so weird. What the heck? Okay, we're trying it again. I did, I was like, like I said, why am I buying this? I'm gonna be, well, grapes or pretzels are yeah, good on their own, yeah. but. There's some aftertaste that reminds me of fried chicken. And it's like the right away. You get it right away when you still have a lot of pretzels. I wonder, I feel like if you never were to say what it was tasting like, I don't think you would get no. it. No. Mm -mm. So it's not that close, but I feel like it's close enough where like I get what they're saying. That's really weird. I feel like it's more so the flavor of the pretzel. I do too. Like, because the pretzel has like, you know, like the burnt, not burnt, but like it has like the more no. round. No one more. I'm going to eat it. Faster. That's really weird. I kind of get it, just a little bit though. I kind of get it too, but I think it's the majority of the pretzel. Yeah. All right. That was fun. Anyway, <laughs> try it out. Let us know if you guys think it tastes like fried chicken. Morning, everyone. I just pulled up to the thrift store so i was actually it's been kind of an early morning we worked out at 7 a.m i had a mammogram at 8 45 and i was like oh perfect i'm gonna go out and get go back to call it new to get those coops well i got in the car it's 10 o'clock and they don't open up until 11 so i was like oh dang it like when you get up and get going in the morning like earlier you don't really realize like stores don't open that early sometimes so i stopped at white dove which is uh, a thrift store here locally and i'm gonna run in here this is where i found the etched coops i'm gonna run in here see what they have i also found the my lampshades from here i found some good stuff here so i'm excited to go in here check out what they have and see if i need anything but also kill some time i guess um but I do want to go back and get those cubes. I have been talking so much about the stainless cubes from CB2. And I just figured I can get all of those cubes for like, I think I could get maybe two from Call It New. So I may as well go get those. And they match my other ones, which I do like mismatch, but I would mix them with, like I probably wouldn't do the goblets with the cubes if that makes sense. So today's Friday. We, it's a little bit of a busier day. We're going to dinner at our friend's house this evening. And I actually forgot about it until I was driving and I was like, Oh my gosh, we have dinner there tonight. So, but I have plenty of time. Anyway, I thought I would start up the vlog again today and take you guys into the thrift store in this vlog and see what we can find. And then go get those scoops. I'm so excited. I have a couple different ideas for them. Plus I've been wanting them for so long. So I'm super excited. The only thing I meant to grab my little polishing cloth. I have like a tiny little polishing cloth to see if they'll polish up real nice. So that was the only hiccup I had about them is they look exactly like the goblets that I have. But then I was like, wait, are these going to polish up nice? Like the other ones? I think they will. But anyway, okay, let's get in here. Let's see what they got. Look at that tray. It's $125 though at the thrift store. So probably not, but it is gorgeous. Look at the legs. Wow. These pewter little vases. And this is, I think, is a child's cup. My sister got these for my nephews, but actually they'd be cute as a little vase. Or maybe it is a vase. Cute. This is so pretty. Is it $20 or $120? That's really beautiful. $75. That's so cute. $2.
space for this barrister cabinet, I would get it $390. It needs a couple knobs, but oh, it's so charming. Also, this piece, $222. Look at those legs. This would be such a cute bar. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love this. Look at that. All right, around this corner are the coops. Let's see if they're still here. Okay, yes, they are. Whew. All right, so $15 for 10 of them. Green is not on sale, so that's a bummer, but 10 of them for $15. I think that's plenty good of a deal. So I just need to shine them up, which I'll do with you later. And I have such good plans for these. Oh, they're just, they're perfect. I don't know why I didn't get them the last two times I was here, but I'm happy they're still here. Got them home. I am so excited about these. I actually feel like I'm gonna use the coops a lot more than the goblets because they're much more versatile. So I got a set of 10. However, I did notice that two of them have, I think they were someone's wedding. Fly and Dick, March 5th, 1966. So two of them do have their engraving, so I probably won't th use those unless it's like for decor and I turn it around or something, I don't know. So that means I have really, I, I have a set of eight instead of a set of 10, which is plenty. <laughs> I don't even need a set of 10, but I'm super excited. I'm gonna polish these up and then I cannot wait. I think that these, like I said, are gonna be so much more versatile. I could do affogados in these. I could do little charcuteries in these. I can do espresso martinis. So I'm excited for that because the goblets that I have, you know, I, could, I can't do as much in them. So anyway. Polish these up. I feel like all I do is polish with you guys <laughs> and make arrangements and it's constantly like the same kind of thing, but that's what we do. Anyway. I'm on my last coupe to polish, but I wanted to show you the difference. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, it's not in focus. Look at how beautiful. Just picture like an affogato in here, a little brie cheese with some berries and honey, or an espresso martini. There's so many things you could do with the coupe, so I'm so happy I went back for them. I looked at them a couple times when I went, and I was like, I need the coupes. But I was thinking I was gonna get the CB2 ones, but then these ones just were such a better price that I had to do it. So, I'm on my last one. I love them. I love them. I love them. They're so shiny and beautiful. Look at how gorgeous those are. I love them so much. So I didn't want to bore you with polishing forever. So I figured I would just update you. I probably should wear gloves when polishing, but here we are. Um, and you just got to really... <laughs> Get in. These ones are pretty bad. I feel like these have never been polished in their lifetime. These are pretty bad. Like you gotta really get some elbow grease in there, but it is so worth it once you get them done. Oh, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, but I feel like I found the diamond in the rough. These are so stunning. I love them so much. And they're just, you could do so many things with them. And as I told you, I'm getting into silver a lot more and more, but I still love my my like unlacquered brass. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. Still love it. Anyway, I'm gonna shine this up and then we're gonna go on a walk. We've been trying to do walks as well as our workouts. Also for just getting outside more and like while the weather's good. So anyway, okay, just checking in. How are you guys? <laughs> I would say we were good together.